Attention. Welcome to Trenching and Evacuation Safety. Each year, an estimated 400 deaths are attributed to trench and excavation cave-ins and more than 10 times as many workers are injured because of trenching-related accidents. This course is designed to raise your awareness of health and safety concerns unique to trenching and excavation. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to list factors to consider before trenching and excavation begins. Identify the purpose of the site assessment. Describe the purpose of a trench box. Specify different types of excavation sloping and shoring principles. Recognize other hazards that are present in the excavation work. And identify the cause of excavation and trenching related fatalities. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, recognizes excavation as one of the most hazardous construction operations. A recently revised subpart P, excavations, of 29 CFR 1926 650 through 652, to make the standard easier to understand, permit the use of performance criteria where possible, and provide construction employers with options when classifying soil and selecting employee protection methods. Many on-the-job accidents are a direct result of inadequate initial planning. Trying to correct mistakes in shoring and or sloping after work has begun slows down the operation, adds to the cost, and increases the possibility of an excavation failure. Safety should be built into the planning process in the same way other job factors are considered. Before making a plan, you should take into account the following site-specific conditions. Traffic, nearness of structures and their condition, soil type, surface and ground water, overhead and underground utilities, and weather and seasonal conditions. Before any trenching operation or excavation actually begins, you should determine the location of any underground installations, such as sewer, telephone, fuel, electric, water lines, or any other installations that may be present in the area. Contacting the utilities and requesting that they find the exact location of the underground installations can achieve this. If the utility company cannot locate their exact location, then you should proceed with caution. OSHA requires that if you encounter an underground installation while digging, it should be either removed or protected and properly supported.